The foils make a big difference to the performance of this boat. Um, and we use the foils generally when the boat's going over about seven knots of boat speed, then I will put the foils out and they will start to affect performance. And they affect performance in two ways. So one is they uh, create extra writing moment by resistance to the water. So as the boat leans over, the foil provides resistance to the water, which gives us a bit of extra writing moment um, against the healing moment of the boat leaning over. But then the other thing that they're doing is acting like an aeroplane wing and they're providing lift. And when the boat's going at higher speed, so when we're doing over 20 knots, then we can really see the impact of that foil lifting the boat out of the water. Now, Medallia has small foils. Um, Medallia was designed and built in 2015 and it was the first generation of Imoka of Open 60 designed to have foils. And by comparison to the modern boats, the foils are quite small. My foils are currently designed to lift three and a half tons. Um, and the modern boats have foils that will lift the whole weight of the boat, so around seven tons. And that's largely just because they're much bigger foils. We're gonna be changing to big foils next year. I'm just gonna run you through how I get the foils out and how I can trim them to affect performance. Everything's done from the cockpit um, and we have two lines um, to control the foils. So we have a foil down line, this thick line here. This is a line that pulls the foil out. Um, and we have a foil up line, which is this one here, and that pulls the foil back in again. And all of this is done inside the tunnel forward with a purchase rope system that feeds back here. So if I want to get a foil out, then I need to make sure the boat is going at a suitable speed. If the boat was going at 20 knots, the foil should already be out, but um, I wouldn't physically be able to drag the foil out against all of that water pressure. The boat needs to be going less than 10 knots for me to be able to get the foil out. So in some conditions, I may have to slow down to get the foil out. Um, and all I do is release the foil up line. So release the line that's holding the foil into the boat, load up my winch with the foil down line. Select the port inboard winch. and grind the foil out. With these smaller foils, I either have them all the way in or all the way out. But with the bigger foils, you can use them at different percentages of extension uh, for different amounts of power. But once my foil's out, the only way I can trim it is by adjusting the foil rake. So that basically is the angle of the foil in relation to the boat. Now I'm allowed up to five degrees of extra foil rake. And essentially the more rake I put on, the more aggressively the foils will lift the boat out of the water. So generally, um, as you start going faster, you want to lift the bow up out of the water so that you don't smash into the waves ahead of you and suddenly slow the boat down. And then you increase the rake on the foils up to five degrees to lift the bow as high as you can. But you do need to be careful because if you put too much rake on, then the bow's right up in the air um, and the stern is dragging along behind and that's not fast. So you're always trying to find just enough rake to lift the bow out of the water, but not so much that you're pulling wheelies. We adjust the rake using a manual hydraulic pump. Um, so if we just pop down 
into the forward section of the boat, we can look at where that pump is. Uh, handy light here. Um, so this is our hydraulic ram. Um, so there's a ram inside this tube um, and it basically kind of forces a wedge into the foil which changes the rake. Nothing else really to see there um, and the pump itself is in the main living area. Um, on ho uh, we're looking at currently we're looking at kind of what our design options are for when we um, change to the big foils and one of the things I would like to do is move that pump into the cockpit rather than having it in the living area but let's just go have a look at that pump handle this is the pump and valves for the foil rake um, so you can see I've got a valve for port and starboard and I have to pump um, to put foil rake on and take it off. So if I want to put more foil rake on the port side, I put the valve over to positive port. And on my B&G Zeus screen up there, we can check. So I've currently got 3.3 degrees of rake on my port foil. I'm gonna take a little bit off there. So if I go back to minus on the port valve and pump, we can see the foil rake is down to 1.7. Now, again, um, if there's a lot of pressure on the foil, it's really hard for me to change the rake. Um, so if the boat's doing 20 knots or over, I might need to slow the boat down to be able to increase the rake uh, because it just becomes too difficult to move the pump handle.